On the next Wheel of Fortune, these three contestants will be competing for $124,000 in cash and prizes, including this magnificent $10,500 ruby and diamond bracelet. Enjoy the vintage automotive styling of this $31,000 Baron. And explore the cradle of civilization with this $7,800 Grecian cruise. Wheel of Fortune, Monday at 7 on Channel 10. A king's ransom has been found on the bottom of the ocean near the Florida Keys. It is a 20-year dream come true for treasure hunter Mel Fisher. Fisher's latest find is believed to be the main treasure of the Spanish galleon Atocha. Here is more from Art Carlson of the Florida News Network. Mel Fisher has been barely able to contain himself since the radio reports started coming in Saturday morning. Divers had found the site where the Atocha sank with its millions in precious metals during a hurricane in 1622. It might not look like much right now, but the silver coins you see are part of more than an estimated 250,000 coins found on the site. But the excitement for the divers only begins there. It's uh, about uh, the pile of silver that's about 60 feet long and about 30 feet wide and about five and a half feet tall. Of silver. Of silver. Of silver. The main pile was uncovered more than four miles from where the search had been centered, giving you some idea of the severity of the storm that sent all of this to the bottom. It's uh, mind-boggling how far this guy tumbled and rolled. Uh, probably more than 10 miles bouncing and floating and uh, spewing out beautiful things all along the way. Fisher and his crew have been working toward this day for the past 17 years, but just because they've found the mother load doesn't mean the search is over. It's going to take anywhere from two to two and a half years just to clean up what they found today, and the excavation will continue for another three to four years beyond that. It is, though, unquestionably the richest treasure find found anywhere in the world in the 20th century. I'm Art Carlson reporting from Key West for the Florida News Network. Amazing. That's this edition of Action News. For Jim, Dave, and the entire Action News team, I'm Jackie Bales. Good night. The Pastor's Study, a public service presentation of WTSP-TV, invites our viewers to pause for a daily message. Here's the sower, Michael Guido of Meta, Georgia, with a seed for the garden of your heart. A young man convinced a skydiving teacher he didn't need any lessons, so they climbed into a plane and took off. When it came time, he jumped. He enjoyed his free fall, and then he pulled his cord, but his parachute didn't open. Then he realized he didn't know how to operate the reserve parachute. As he went lower, he saw a man rising higher. He yelled, do you know anything about parachutes? No, said the fellow. Do you know anything about gas furnaces? The Philippian jailer wasn't a know-it-all. He wanted to be saved and know it. He asked, what must I do to be saved? And Paul said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. A seed from the sower has originated from the studios of the Guido Evangelistic Association, Meta, Georgia. A seed for the garden of your heart has been presented by The Pastor's Study, a public service of WTSP-TV. And now WTSP-TV Channel 10, St. Petersburg, Florida, concludes its broadcast activities for today. WTSP-TV operates by authority of the Federal Communications Commission, and our transmitter is located 2.6 miles north of Tarpon Springs and has a power of 316,000 watts visual and 31,600 watts oral. Our studios are located at 11450 Gandhi Boulevard North, St. Petersburg. WTSP-TV is owned and operated by WTSP-TV Incorporated, a subsidiary of Gulf Broadcast Company. WTSP-TV Auxiliary Broadcast Station is KTB 87 with an assigned frequency of 2008 to 2025 megahertz. Viewer comments and suggestions are always welcomed by the management and correspondence should be addressed to Manager, WTSP-TV, Post Office Box 10,000, St. Petersburg, Florida, 33733. Speaking for the staff and management of WTSP-TV, we wish you a pleasant good night. And now, our national anthem.